Hello, this is Paul from Quicken Mobile, and the purpose of this video is going to be to show you how to put the scooter coach, which you see upside down, together and get it ready to be attached to an actual scooter of your choice. Quicken Mobile, if you would like to use this opportunity to press pause, we have a series of videos on our website that will help you with various different uh, items or explain things. And of course, there's our toll-free number as well in quickandmobile.com. So moving on, here is basically what we're going to need in order to really assemble the actual device. Two sets of, of pliers, a Sharpie, and a measuring tape. Now, what actually comes with the device itself, of course, you have the scooter coach, which is upside down. In the course of this video, that will be right side up, but it's starting upside down for a good reason. We have the key, which locks and unlocks the scooter coach. That should be attached to the actual scooter coach. You should have a receiver port or basically a mechanism to help you attach it to the actual scooter itself. And we do give you a safety flag with the scooter coach two wheels and these basically are not tubeless tires uh, basically two spacers um, two end caps and of course the axle itself so i'm going to hand this off and what we're going to do is we're going to make this as, as simple as possible now this video or any other video you're not going to see us edit or hollywoodize the video we want to show you these devices as they are in reality. So the first thing, you can see that the axle itself sits above the actual coach. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a look here and we have approximately 11 inches of width down here. And this, this in the center of this circle, it's, it's literally right in the middle of the device. So five and a half inches. So what I want to do is I want to take a look here and find the 10 inch marker, which I've just found. And I want to keep a mental note or I want to make a small mark right at 10 inches just because I want this to be in the center and I don't want to have one wheel work perfectly and the other wheel not attach at all. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to space this right in the center so you can see there. I've got a spacer on either side right here. Very simple, it's not rocket science. Um, I do want to make certain that the air cap, however, is on the outside. Okay, so we're just gonna do this right here. And again, I want to make certain that the air cap is on the outside, okay? So we're going to get everything spaced out here so I can look and I have about the same space on, on either side. So before I move forward here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take these wheels off. I'll leave the spacers on. I'm going to grab. You hear that? Click on either side. Now that scooter coach can be lifted up. Very, very important. If you don't hear both sides click, it's not properly done. And then here, take a look at this. We have this right in the center. Okay, so the next part, remember how we put the wheels on, very, very simple here. And we have the end caps, okay? One goes one way, the other goes the other way. So I will do those by hand to the best of my ability. And what I would like to do now is I will tighten them up a little bit more just to make certain they're not going to come apart, okay? So I grab one and I grab the other. About a half turn each way, nothing, nothing serious. Okay, one wheel is a little bit more worn in than the other wheel. A slight bit of WD-40 might help, or liquid graphite, or even powder graphite, but this is perfectly fine right here. And if we go ahead and turn the scooter coach over, we see that it's, it's ready to roll. And I actually have it locked. So you see this key right here, okay? The bottom of that key fits into the actual device, and I can just do a quarter turn, and I unlock it. So we see that the key 
works with the latching mechanism. And of course we have plenty of space in the scooter coach itself. And we see, if we take a look here, we, we see that we have kind of a, a lip that seals into place to make this, it, for all intents and purposes, quite weather resistant when the actual scooter coach is closed. So we'll just go ahead and latch it up here, or unlatch it, latch it, and there we go, it's closed. We have a safety flag that comes along with the scooter coach, and we see that we have two protrusions on either side. So take your pick, and that just literally snaps right in to the end there. And then how to attach this to the actual scooter just remove the uh, remove the the pin here and thread right through the the actual bottom. Okay, and some of these may not go in flush, but when you're pulling this, you're not going to have a problem with the device disconnecting. And most of the actual scooters themselves, when you purchase the scooter, will come with the part that will grab the actual uh, grab the actual connector. So there you have it. There is the scooter coach, completely assembled, very easy to assemble, very easy to use, and just make certain that you do not lose the key. Otherwise, you're going to be looking at in a small issue. But I do want to thank everybody for watching this instructional video, how to assemble the scooter coach. And we do welcome your visit to quickandmobile.com.